Welcome to our certification and accreditation module. The certification and accreditation process is very important in our enterprise to make sure that we are using products that will meet our requirements. The certification and accreditation process provides a technical reference model, standards profiles, and a baseline configuration which will be implemented to provide a minimum level of acceptable risk. Communication and validation of our security controls is very important to make sure that they are adequate for our given environment. We also must make sure that the system performs consistently following our rules of behavior and ensure that system controls are working correctly and that it is properly fitting into our risk management procedures. The certification and accreditation process is now part of the continuous monitoring phase of the NIST Special Publication 800-137. Even though products may have a security rating, we still need to make sure that they will work properly in our environment. The certification process is where we evaluate the security controls within a product in our specific environment, and this is a formal process that is normally done by an outside auditor. Accreditation is the process where we accept the product's overall security, and this is done by senior management. They determine the level of risk that is acceptable, and once they determine that the product meets that goal, they will then approve the product to be used in our environment. At the bottom, we can see that our operational employees will test and certify the security of the system. They will then pass their findings on to management, who will provide accreditation or approval to use the system. And once that accreditation occurs, the approved system can go onto the production network. For the CISSP exam, it is critical to be familiar with the difference between certification and accreditation. Certification verifies that a product functions appropriately in your environment, but you are not permitted to use the product after it has been certified. You can only use the certified product once it goes through the accreditation process and you receive a formal approval from your management staff to use the product. This concludes our certification and accreditation module. Thank you for watching.